another bongo video what's going on everybody hope everybody's doing well so for today's video we're going to do a little flamma craziness exercise yeah it's, it's about to get intense but you gotta love it Welcome to Tape Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button just to find out whenever I upload. And as well to all my day ones. Thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the concerns, and my little bit of time of hiatus and just trying to plan out these next series of videos, man. It's really exciting. And as well, thank you so much to all the new members, man. Seriously, it is it is a pleasure and, and it's it, we're, we're gonna have some fun. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link a video up here explaining kind of like the membership program that this channel is not eligible for. Nothing on this channel is going to change, please. Y'all need to understand that nothing on this channel is going to change. We're still going to be making all the videos we normally make. It's just that if you want to become a member, there's certain perks, even a perk of getting a less than a month from me. So it's uh, going to be kind of fun for all those members. I'm excited to work with you guys. And yeah, this is going to be a nice little fun exercise. And uh, yeah, let me actually kind of show you what I'm talking about here and then kind of break it down because it's going to be a lot of... Yeah, you, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see a lot of craziness, but let's go. Woo! Like I said, some craziness up in here but yeah let me show you what i'm doing as you notice this exercise has a lot of moves different hand positioning it's really going to help strengthen just that kind of like independence for each hand to know how you should hit the ambra as well how you're going to hit a close slap on the macho while keeping kind of the same you know like hits right here with your non-dominant hand on the macho to kind of like just break it down piece by piece to show you what this hand is doing versus what this hand is doing it's kind of interesting let me actually show you that before breaking everything down Like I said, some craziness, but yeah, it's gonna really help develop those two hands kind of to kind of think on their own when it comes to moving around on the bongo. So again, this is just an exercise. You can use it as a combination, but it's really just meant to help those little areas when you come to approach the technique on the bongo. Now, what I do to start off this pattern, I'm actually starting on the embra with an open with my dominant hand. Now, after doing this open, this open is really is what going to trigger kind of the next part and it needs to get kind of, this is the little flamma part, the little flam part, and this is where it's gonna connect with the macho. After doing that open with your dominant hand on the embra, now with your non-dominant hand, you're going to do an open with your fingers, of course, on the macho, and then that's gonna help set up to do a close slap with your dominant hand on the macho followed by another open with your non-dominant hand on the macho. So it's gonna sound like this. To put that together. Now to finish off this exercise. Yeah, very simple exercise, kind of complicated, but simple in regards to the steps. But after doing that open with your non-dominant hand on the macho, 
what kind of puts everything together is actually this. You're actually going to do an open on the macho with your diamond hand. So just the fingertips on the macho. And then you're gonna immediately go to the embra and do an open right there with your dominant hand. So that's kind of the tricky part. It's literally like an open, open, right back to back. And then you're actually gonna finish that off with doing two opens immediately after doing the open on the embra, both of them on the macho with your non-dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. This is where we get kind of like back-to-back -back flam feels. That's what we call it, a little flam a crazy exercise on the bongos. But to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. And that's basically it. That's the exercise right there. But like I've shown in other videos, it's not so much just getting the exercise down, it's actually continue playing it. That's the tough part. That's the part that makes it become a tongue twister, makes it become more than what it is, and really challenges and pushes you to kind of stay focused on each element of this exercise. But to play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Man, it can get crazy up in here. You can start messing up and colliding notes. That's kind of like the sort part when you start to speed it up, man. But it's so much fun when you start to really challenge yourself in these notes. But to count it and to play it slowly for you guys, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Woo, man, that is a fun, fun exercise. Again, it really challenges your mind, challenges your technique. And I think it's just really, really fun once you start to get the hang of it, man. And uh, yeah, I, I, it's something that I believe that you should practice, you should try out. Um, again, it's not really meant as a combination or anything like that. It's really just meant as an exercise but you could use it as a combination. I think the members are about to get something. If you wanna get and join the membership, just log on to your computer, you'll see the join button at the bottom and you're gonna get just extra content, especially stuff like this. A little, some extra stuff, some extra stuff in context. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It feels so good to be back. So good to be back. All right, y'all, see you guys.